Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to make the slippers. It's so easy to make, you will see. I want to show you on my foot at first. This sole is 437 38 for Europe, of course, but it even fits me. I'm 38. And it's 6.5 6 and 7 for the US. Uh, for the UK, it's 4, 4.5 and 5. If you want, you can use a sole like I did here. Or you can make your own sole. You can use the uh, other sole I show you for another slippers video. Uh, you can find this video here. Uh, I use 60 uh, double crochets here and it has 64 double crochet uh, for double crochet is not too important you can use that one too if you couldn't find this one but for the other video i saw a lot of comments like i made the same things you did uh, but mine is so big uh, they said like that about the sole they made um, that's because I'm a tight hand crochet crocheter. And if you have a problem like that, you can use a smaller crochet hook or a smaller size yarn. And for this one, I used uh, this yarn. Uh, there is no size, <laughs> of course, uh, but it's size 6 yarn, a uh, velvet yarn. You can use any kind of uh, yarn, size 6 yarn. But with velvet yarns, it looks more beautiful. I can tell you that. And uh, you will need a smaller crochet hook. I use 2.5 for here. You will need a a small crochet hook that fits these holes. Okay. And for here, I used 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I used a, a little more than one ball of yarn. You can see that's the second ball. And even making a bigger size, two balls of yarn will be enough for you. And uh, if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And let's start. I will start from here. For the other side, for this one. I started from here. You see? Uh, these two are different. For this one we will start from the right side and we start from the right side for this one too. We will make the same thing. Uh, nothing change. And that's almost middle. You can start from here or here. It's up to you. I think I can start from here. Hi, Mishvik. Insert into the next place. I'll hide this tail too, like that. Just grab the yarn, 
make a single crochet. <laughs> he needs some attention uh, and I will give it to him and I will turn. I will start again. Insert into the next Make a single crochet insert into the next Make a single crochet And just keep making one single crochet for All of them Insert here, wrap the yarn, pull it, make a single crochet. Just try to uh, make the single crochets um, tighter as you can. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will make one more. You see these eight uh, holes here, it's here, and here, where we start, where we finish. I will make two single crochet for this eight hole one two one two one two One, two, one, two, three, four. I will make four more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I will keep going. I will put one single crochet for all the stitches. Just uh, wait here. Okay, put one single crochet. And I'm here into these five stitches. We will make two, two, three, two, two. First, make two single crochets, two single crochets, three single crochets. One, two, three, two, two. Two. 
and put one single crochet for every hole. Join from this first one, make a chain, make one more chain for the secure, cut this yarn. Grab the velvet yarn and 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Insert from here, that's where we join. Insert here, grab this yarn, chain three, insert into this next uh, space here. We will not insert into the stitches. We are using here this space. Insert here, make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert into the next one. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And that's a double crochet into the next one sorry make a double and keep making double crochets And here we made two uh, single crochet. Insert here at first and make a double crochet. And then here make a double crochet. Here make a double and a double. Make a double crochet. Double crochet, just keep going like that. Uh, put one double crochet for every space you see, like that. I'll see you somewhere here. I'm here and now I will make one double crochet and one here. One double crochet, one more, one, two, Three, 
one, two, one, two. Now uh, keep going. Put one um, double crochet. join into this third chain with a slip stitch and now count your stitches you must have a uh, totally 60 uh, double crochets here and I will count them yes I have 60 double crochets and now uh, I want to explain you uh, if you want to make it bigger and using uh, this kind of sole you will make the same thing here and here uh, and uh, you will have more uh, holes here it will be bigger and just put one uh, single crochet for them. Just make it like that. I will show you uh, how to make here. Important thing is this front side and you will make the same thing for bigger size too. Okay. So uh, if you have two or four more uh, stitches, it's not a big deal. Uh, I will show you. It's easier like that. Chain two. That's not a stitch. Okay, that's just for starting. That's my first double crochet. I will make a back post double crochet around it. Yarn over. Insert your hook from back and around this double crochet, this first double crochet. Get the back again. Grab the yarn. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. That's the back post double crochet. Now I will make a front post. Yarn over. That's the next double crochet. Insert your hook from right to left around this double crochet. Just grab the yarn and make a double. Yarn over, I will make a back post double crochet. Yarn over, front post double crochet. And back post, front post. Back post, front post. Just keep making like that. Put one back post, one front post, double crochets for all the stitches you have. And uh, I'll see you here. I complete second row with a front post double crochet and join from this first stitch 
chain two and make the same thing just make a back post and front post back post front post front post just make back post for back post stitch and front post for front post stitch uh, I'll see you at the end I complete third row and join with the slip stitch now we will start to make decreases chain two make a back post and front post double crochets and I'm uh, in the middle of this sole you can see like that we will make decreases here I will make totally 16 decreases and for this I need 32 stitches. You can count like that if you want. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You can count like that. Or you can count these two as a 1 decrease. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's almost the same as you see. So I will start from here and make 16 decreases. If you want to make this one smaller size, you can make less decreases here. You can uh, calculate it like that. Just find the middle, uh, count your stitch. Uh, it will be good if it's multiples of four, but if it's not, it's not too important. It will be good like that. And just make decreases uh, here. If you want to make it bigger, 18 will work for only one uh, number bigger sole. And starting from here, I will make decreases. How to make them? Yarn over. Start to make a decrease. Yarn over and pull through. And don't complete this back post double crochet. Yarn over and around this front post. Yarn over. Pull through two. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through. That's a decrease. Make a half. Make a half. Complete. Make a half. Make a half. Complete. Just keep making like that. That's let me look one, two, three, four, five. No, don't count this one. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
level. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. I complete decreases starting from here make a back post front post I wish I could use a, a lighter yarn uh, I try to open the color uh, when I edit this video I hope you can see it easily. Sorry for that, I couldn't find another color. There's a small place. You cannot find the um, yarn you want, the colors you want all the time. If you have any question, you can always ask me. Just write comment. And a back, back post, front post. Join from first stitch. Chain two. Make a back post and a front post. We will make decreases again. This time we will only take these front loops. Insert here, make a half around the next one, make a half close together. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, and start with back post double crochet make a front post double crochet back post front post keep going like that I'll see you here I complete and join start with a back post Double crochet, and make a front post double crochet, and this time we will insert into this stitch, we will not make front post or back post here, insert into this stitch here. Yarn over insert into the first stitch grab the yarn pull through only one time leave it like that 
That's the next stitch. Two. That's the next stitch. Three. You have eight uh, decreases here, if you remember. And now we will collect eight double crochets. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Yarn over and pull through from all these loops. Make a chain. And we have a back post double crochet here. Just start with it. Front post double crochet. Back post double crochet. Just keep going like that. I'll see you here. Chain two. Make a back post. And a front post. And now look here. We will make a, a double crochet here, or it looks bad. But we have a back post double crochet here. If we just put one double crochet here, it will like that. We will make a front post, back post, and back post again. It will look bad like that too. So we will put two double crochets here somewhere here. We can put one of them here and one of them here. Just insert here. Make a double crochet. Uh, for the next row that will be a back post double crochet. And do here. Make a double crochet. And that will be a front post double crochet. Then a back post. A front post a back post a front post keep going like that I'll see you where we join and uh, I join here now make a back post a front post a back post, a front post, back post, front post, and I will keep making like that. Just make a few rows like that. Uh, uh, don't make any increases, decreases, just turn around with front post and back post and you can see here that's the back post that's the front post try just make it like that and for how many rows i made it one two three four five six seven and eight rows you can make it longer or shorter as you like I will just make it for 8 rows and turn. I complete 8 rows. Now we will make fringes. Chain 1, turn. I will use this cardboard for this. You can use something like that. It's... Uh, just wait a minute. Mine is six inch long. It's up to you, of course. 15 centimeters. I want to show you like that too. His final measurement is 13 centimeters. A little more than five inch long. Almost five inch long. Okay. Now 
up. We have two loops here. I hope you can see it. There's a V like that. And um, actually that's the front loop if you are looking from the right side. But if you are looking from this side, that's back loop. I will call it back loop. Okay, there's a loop here and one more here. Insert your hook into this back loop. Let's take the cardboard. This yarn is back side. And wrap it like that. Just grab the yarn and pull through from this loop, then yarn over and make a single crochet. Insert into the next loop's back loop and wrap the yarn from back to front. It's not too important, but if you are making from here Always make the same thing. Always wrap it like that. I start from the back, so I will always make uh, with the same way. Just uh, pull through from this loop, yarn over and pull through from two loops. Insert your hook into the next loop. Wrap it around. Like it. Uh, if you want, you can uh, use both loops too. It's not uh, too important. If it's easy for you, you can make it like that too. But that's not so, so hard. <laughs> so you can try this one. going like that. I think that's enough. I will break them. Insert here into the back loop. Wrap the yarn around the cardboard. Insert your hook here. Insert your hook again. Insert your hook Now I will just repeat the same thing for all the steeds and you not have to make anything at all. It will look like that. Just make here like that and it will curl by itself. Just make the same thing for all the stitches and I'll see you here. I made the last one drawing from this first stitch with a slip stitch 
chain one, cut the yarn. And I will hide this tail. And that's it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Sirin's Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me there. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.